The Duchess of Cornwall turned to an old favourite today for her visit to one of Scotland's oldest universities. Camilla, 71, wore an understated grey ensemble with a tartan trim at a ceremony to formally install the new principal and vice-chancellor of the University of Aberdeen. Known as the Duchess of Rothsey in Scotland, she later changed into a black and gold ceremonial robe for the ceremony at Elphinstone Hall, King's College. Her trip today coincided with the Duchess of Cambridge's visit to the Royal Opera House, for which she recycled a £2,700 Oscar de Laurenta suit. Professor George Boy took up the position back in August and was officially installed in the role on Wednesday. Camilla said, May I congratulate you, Professor Boyne, on your new appointment. Famously, novelist, John Buchan said it's a great life, if you don't weaken. Given that you are an Aberdonian yourself, I know you won't weaken, Aberdonians are made of stern stuff. And given your deep understanding and experience of public sector administration, I know that you will be more than equal to the challenges involved in running a great university in the 21st century. These are challenging times, no doubt, but I feel today, Vice-Chancellor, with your installation as the university's new leader, this is indeed one of those occasions for hope. I will finish with one more quotation from John Buchan, the task of leadership is not to put greatness into humanity, but to elicit it, for the greatness is already there. This is a great university, with a great heritage and the prospect of many great things to come. I wish you well in your office, Vice-Chancellor, and I wish the university and all its members well this year and in the years to come. It is a great honor for me to be part of such a very special community. Around 500 guests, including university alumni, staff and students, as well as senior figures from other universities, attended the ceremony at Elphinstone Hall today. Camilla, in her role as Chancellor of the University, presided over the occasion, which resembled a graduation ceremony. The Royal also handed an honorary degree to Edward Stevenson, who worked in the university's biomedical physics department for more than four decades and supported the team that created the world's first clinical MRI scanner. Mr. Stevenson said, I never expected anything like this and it has been quite overwhelming not only to receive an honorary degree but to be given it by Her Royal Highness. Professor Boyne said, I look forward to serving the interests of the university in the role of principal, and to working with the whole university community to ensure that we remain open to all and dedicated to the pursuit of truth in the service of others in Aberdeen, the Northeast and the wider world. The event formed part of a program of engagements for Camilla, known as the Duchess of Rothsey in Scotland, at the university on Wednesday. She also met guests at a marquee lunch before heading to another engagement at the university's health campus. The Duchess spoke to researchers who focus on women's health during her visit to the Institute of Medical Sciences.